Hello, this is Mr. Doro. Today we're going to be talking about our last part of formula stoichiometry. It's percent composition. I want you to be able to determine the percent composition by mass for elements when I'm giving you a compound. Well, first of all, percent composition is also called mass percent, and it's the total mass of the element in a compound over the molecular mass of that compound times 100. So we're going to do a couple examples. One of them that we're going to do is H2O and that's water, and the other one is hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2. For each one of these, we're going to find out the percent by mass, how much of it is oxygen, and the percent by mass, how much of the compound is hydrogen. So we got to find the molecular mass for each one, and the molecular mass is in AMUs, and according to our periodic table, it is 18.02 grams for, or AMUs for H2O, and 34.02 AMUs for H2O2. So to find out the percent, we have to find the total mass of that element. So this is oxygen, our first one. There's only one oxygen, and the mass of that, according to the periodic table, is 16.00 grams divided by the molecular mass, which is 18.02. I keep saying grams instead of AMUs, but they are interchangeable, even though we're talking about molecular and molar in different cases times 100 and so for this I end up with 88.79 percent oxygen and so 88.79 percent of H2O of the mass is based on oxygen or depends on oxygen for hydrogen then we only we have two hydrogens so the molar mass on the periodic table is 1.01 .01, but we have two of them so we have to multiply it by two so that ends up being 2.02 .02 over 18.02 so out of the 18.02 grams 2.02 .02 of it is due to hydrogen whoops sorry times 100 and we end up with 11.21 percent now I know you could have figured it out from this right here if 88.79 percent of it is oxygen then the rest of it had to be hydrogen but I wanted to show you that math anyways so for the next one down here H2O2 oxygen now we have two of them so we have to do two times the mass on the periodic table 32.00 grams of the 34.02 are due to oxygen and when we do that math we end up with 94.006 percent oxygen. I'd like you to say what is the percentage of too and so this next one right here we have two hydrogen still so it's 2.02 .02 over 34.02 .02 times 100 and we end up with 5.94 percent hydrogen on this one. That's how you find mass percent from a compound. So here's another problem. What's the percent composition by mass or mass percent of each of the elements in sodium sulfate? First thing we have to do is we have to write the formula for sodium sulfate. Sodium is Na, sulfate is SO4 from the back of our periodic table. We check the charges on this and Na's got a plus one, SO4 has got a minus two, so it is Na2SO4 is the correct formula. Very important you start with the correct formula. Then we have to find the molar mass or the molecular mass of this. And when I look at my periodic table, I end up finding that this is 142.05 when I add them all up. AMUs for the molecular mass. So I have three things now. I have sodium, Na, and I'm going to find the percent Na. And then I'm going to find the percent S. I got to break up that sulfate. And the percent O. Notice I didn't put any subscripts on any of these. So sodium is 22.99, but there are two of them, and so I have to 2 times 22.99. I'm going to write it out that way this time. 2 times 22.99, and it's fine to do that, over the total molar mass, 142.05, and then times 100. And then for my sulfur, there's only one of them, and that is 32.07 over the total molar mass 142.05 and then times 100 and then for my oxygen that is there are four of them so it's four times 16.00 or 64.00 which would be the total 142.05 times 100 and when I do the math on each one of these this is what I end up getting I get 32.00 37 percent and a 32.37 of the total mass is due to the sodium and then 22.58 
50% is due to the sulfur. And then 45.05% is due to the oxygen. So here's a problem for you to do. What's the percent composition by mass or mass percent of each of the components in C6H12O6? And so you've got to find the percent carbon, percent hydrogen, and percent oxygen. Go ahead and do that. And then here's one more for you. Percent composition by mass or mass percent of each element in NH3. I'd like to know the percent nitrogen and the percent hydrogen. Hey, have fun doing these. Have a great day.